Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video I'm going to show you a review, my review, of this Artillery or FNOFO Sidewinder X1 printer. And this is going to be a different review than what you have seen from other reviewers because the problems they had well, they're non-existent anymore. And therefore, well, I had to make this review. The thing is that uh, I've seen some reviews from other people, like Joel Telling, for example. And he mentioned this as being a, a very nice printer, a very good printer, but with some minor problems that you can fix uh, by fixing, for example, your G-code. And well, uh, the thing is that uh, when you receive the printer out of the box and he has some experience with it, uh, then the printer was freezing, for example. So he sliced his files in Simplify 3D, uh, uploaded it to the printer or, or used the stick for the printer, and then the printer just freezed for a long time. And uh, well, I thought it was something I could fix, so I didn't care about that problem because the rest of his review was very positive about this printer. And therefore I decided to buy one myself. So I've bought this printer with my own money. Uh, I didn't receive it for free for this review or whatever. I just bought it. Then uh, when I ordered this printer, they told me I had to wait a little because there was a version 4 coming and this version 4 would be the upgraded version without the problems some other people's had. So I said well I will wait for it and after about four weeks of waiting uh, I received this printer and I started playing with it. And I have to say uh, I'm just hooked on it. It's, it's a great printer and it's, it's very well built. Now, first let me tell you what I love about this printer. Of course, I bought this for its, its size. Uh, it's a 30 by 30 by 40 centimeter build size, and therefore you can build very large objects on this printer. Uh, also, it's a direct driven printer, and direct driven means that the extruder is directly on top of the hot end and uh, nozzle, and therefore it can print almost any type of material, like flexible materials, etc. Uh, also, this nozzle is a volcano style nozzle, so the, the heat block and the nozzle uh, they are way larger than on normal printers, and uh, well, they can heat up your filament really, really quick, which makes it possible to print really, really quick. Like with this printer, I've been printing at 100 millimeters a second as a standard. And sometimes if I have to get the job done very, very quick, I can even push it up to 120 millimeters a second without any problems. Now, that said, uh, in some other reviews, you will find the problem uh, that when you're going to print fast with this printer, uh, well, there are some, some caveats, uh, like bending, like that kind of problems. But in this version 4, and with the updated slicer profile that you get for free for Cura for this printer, uh, you will see that the prints are just fabulous, even on high speeds. Now, another thing uh, that I really like about this printer is that it has dual Z-axis motor, which is quite normal on a lot of printers nowadays. But it's not only that, they also coupled those two C-rods uh, with each other with a belt. And uh, therefore, not only there are motors controlling them, but there is also a belt controlling them. And this means that there is no way that the one motor can turn while the other doesn't turn. And therefore, uh, you always have a good, good angle for your uh, x-axis, which is really, really nice. Then the heated bed for this printer. The heated bed of this printer is an AC powered bed or a mains powered bed, which means that it turns on very, very quickly and it gets hot very, very quickly. Uh, you can uh, raise it up to 130 degrees Celsius and it will be on that temperature in less than a minute and it will stay perfectly on temperature all the time. So this is also something which is way quicker than all my other printers can do it. And yeah, I really like that. Now the bottom of this heated bed has very large knobs. So leveling of this printer is very, very easy. Uh, you can just level it once and uh, I have just 
only one time leveled it and uh, I've been printing now I think about 60 prints on it and all those prints are on the same level I never re-leveled it so I have to say uh, it, it's a great bed also uh, this bed is with a glass plate uh, with diamond glass or uh, as Anacubic calls it for example the ultra base and uh, this type of bed makes it very nice to use with a lot of materials that you, you can print with which stick on the bed as long as it's hot but then when the bed cools down it, it will just pop off uh, so there is no need for a flex plate or whatever to, to remove your prints from the bed you can just wait until your bed cools down and then you can get them off and also there is uh, underneath this uh, th this hot end combination uh, there is a LED light and uh, this is a full color LED and this tells you something about the status of your printer uh, now you can modify this you can change this if you like uh, like for example you can uh, always give it green light or red or blue or whatever you like but uh, what's even more fun is that if you don't change it then when you give the printer uh, an assignment then it will start in blue and as long as the printer is heating up it will change uh, gradually from blue to red and when it's red you know that everything is hot then the printer will start printing and the light will turn white and then you can see what the printer is printing which is really something which yeah what I like a lot because uh, even if the environment is completely dark then you can see what it's printing because the LED is very bright now there is also a spool holder on top there and uh, the spool holder which is on top as you can see I don't use it at this moment this is the only thing I don't particularly like about this printer uh, I think the design is good and you can use spools up to 5 kilograms on top of the printer without any problems but there is a thing which I don't like and that is that uh, you have to to, to change the width manually and you have to do it by unscrewing and screwing uh, the, the one side of the holder and therefore this takes time and well you just you don't want to move your printer to do that so therefore for this small roll I'm using now it's behind the printer on another spool holder and I just feed it on uh, over the top of the printer so these are my things that I really like about the printer. Now let's take a look at what others said about this printer. Like uh, for example a complaint uh, that there was. This printer can print, print from both uh, USB or SD cards. And there were some people that had problems with it uh, not printing from uh, for example SD card. Well I've been testing it and it prints from SD card perfectly. It also prints from USB perfectly. Uh, but there is a menu where you have to change from uh, SD to USB and vice versa. So you have to say which slot you are going to use. And if you don't do that, then you will get a problem and it says that there is no file on the card. Um, another thing that uh, some people complained about is when using Simplify 3D the printer sometimes freezes and well it doesn't do that anymore and I am busy with creating a perfect Simplify 3D profile for this printer uh, I'm, I think I am pretty far away uh, with it right now and I will, uh, I will leave the link to this uh, uh, profile on my website so if you go to my website uh, which is https uh, 3 d printcreatorcom uh, then you will be able to find this printer and the downloadable files for it. Now, I do really love this printer and uh, I, I, I mean really love this printer. I have a lot of other printers here, uh, but this artillery is way better than all the printers I've used so far even way more expensive printers like for example and this is something which is a benchmark printer for a whole lot of people uh, I like this printer more than the Prusa uh, Mark III and the reason is that files coming from this printer are printed quicker in a higher quality so therefore I, I really love this printer 
and uh, for the price well it's just about 400 euros sometimes it's even less I bought this printer for 380 euros uh, sometimes it's a little bit more I think at this moment it's on Aliexpress for uh, something like 430 euros it, it differs from time to time but uh, well for that price you get a printer which for me is a benchmark printer right now and I'm not saying you this because I'm paid or because I got the printer for free or whatever uh, I just paid for it uh, I just really love this printer now that said the only way I can earn a little bit of money uh, with this channel if if you are willing to buy a printer like this please visit the link in the description down below because uh, it will be an affiliate link and uh, well if you buy your printer uh, on Aliexpress or on another website which promotes it uh, via the links on my website then I will benefit from it uh, because uh, I get a little bit back from the supplier uh, because you bought it due to my channel and it won't cost you anything more so uh, there is no uh, no expense for you and uh, it, well, it's helping my channel uh, if you're not willing to buy a printer and you still want to help the channel uh, there is also a buy me a coffee link uh, which you can uh, yeah, use to donate uh, one or two dollars to me uh, for a cup of coffee Thank you for watching, I will do a lot more videos about this printer, I will do a special profile video about this printer, how to profile it in uh, Simplify 3D, and uh, well, I will be showing a lot more about this printer on my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you again, bye bye! If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you like the channel, then consider subscribing to it. If you do, please don't forget to hit that bell button otherwise you won't be notified every time I make a new video. If you want to support this channel financially, then you can find the links to Patreon in the description down below. If you have a question, leave a comment under this video on YouTube. You can also visit my website at 3 d printcreatorcom Thanks for watching.